the Snapdragon 845 chipset from Qualcomm has the power of almost all flagship Android devices that are not manufactured by Huawei or Samsung this year, but it's quite old at the moment, and will be launched on the Galaxy S9 this spring. His successor, tentatively called Snapdragon 855, may have recently been evaluated within a development plate. The Geekbench listing does not give us the name of the chipset, only its code name Zunile. It was paired with 6GB of RAM in the test device, which ran Android 9 Pi. Its multi-core result of 10,469 matches what Apple's Bionic A11 SoC usually achieves. That's what powers iPhones last year. On the side of the single-core score, the next Qualcomm chip still cannot match that of Apple but it is getting closer, 3,697 against the 4,300 of the A11. That said, Apple will not sit still, and it is obvious that the SoC A12 that will be presented in the upcoming iPhones that will be revealed on September 12th will have an even better performance than the A11. So, even if this is the Snapdragon 855, by the time it hits the market and shipping devices next year, it's reasonable to expect it to still be behind Apple's latest and best judging only by this metric. There is also the possibility that Mzmnil is not a chip destined for smartphones, but appears on Windows devices. Qualcomm and Microsoft have already been working on Windows at ARM for a while, and this could be the next SoC for that effort, it's impossible to know at this moment for sure.